Well, we grew up in the Yakima Valley. My dad and cousins and uncles, we all raised hops. Although Paul was the oldest, he's a year older than me. And then Donna Ray came along, I think, three years later. I think we just had the best growing up. It was magical. We were so blessed to live like that. Then when he went to Gonzaga, he uh, took ROTC. And afterward, he applied into the Navy and went to Pensacola to start his training to be a pilot. I think he got into the flying uh, with Dad, having been a pilot. And so he would go there and he'd take us up. I think it probably spurred that interest for Paul. And he loved flying. I know that when he finished Pensacola and he then learned to fly this Skyraider AK-1, big single-engine bomber, and he would fly off of uh, the carriers. And he truly did believe in that war. He felt he was called to serve his country. He had been over there. This is his third tour, and this was his last mission. And he was leaving the next day, heading home. He was retiring from the Navy, and they were going to start a family, he and his wife, Chris. He wanted to fly, and his commander says, no, 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 no. This is your last mission. It's not good luck for you to fly. Paul says, oh, no, I love to fly. Just let me do this one more. So he flew, and then his gyro went out. I don't think he could tell if he was up or down. And they were flying through clouds, too. And they looked, and they looked, and they never heard from him. He just disappeared. At that point... Paul was just missing in action. Dad and Mom were waiting to hear from him in the States, saying, I'm here. I'm done. They were waiting for the news, and then a car pulled up, and two men came out of the car. Dad said he knew the minute he saw them. We didn't talk about it at home because Dad didn't want to talk about Paul at all. It was like Paul didn't exist. That was how my father handled his pain. He just couldn't bring it up, so nothing could be talked about as a family. So when they finally said that he's presumed dead and we can now have a funeral, it was a relief. Now we could celebrate his life, having a mass said, prayers, saying goodbye to him as a family at the graveside. What I figured was the only closure we were going to get. It felt like closure. It felt like closure before that when you never hear a word. And then um, in the spring, mom got a letter stating that They were pretty sure they had found remains of an American flyer who had flown over this island and uh, had been shot down. And pretty soon I got this notice that said, yeah, we found these remains. They've been sent to Hawaii. They've been verified. Lorraine called me two weeks before Memorial Day. She said, are you sitting down? And then she told me. I mean, we were like both like just speechless. And so then we got into the van that they had for us and I was so happy to have Lorraine's family there and my husband there. And pretty soon in came this plane and oh gosh, it was so impressive, you know. This is Paul coming in to us to be here. And then they unloaded a Paul from the cargo area and they had young Navy cadets pick up the casket and brought it over to the hearse and put it in. It's like, oh my gosh, Paul, you finally made it home. And now, you know, he's back part of the family. And it's glorious to have that. I just, I thought, well, I have to get closer. I have to feel him. And so that's when I asked the the funeral person if I could. And he let me, because I could really feel him. I think the big word is closure, and that finally we'll have a place for Paul. You know, not somewhere vague where we don't know that island, but now we can, you know, we have a place where the family can go. That's closure for all the cousins. And have him at rest, finally. Okay, so here we were, arch arch enemies, right? That we can go beyond that and work together. How wonderful for the Vietnamese, because from what I'm gathering, they're the ones who gathered this, uh, the remains of Paul and sent them. They're getting their fallen soldiers, and they're going through these same feelings that we're going through, that Lorraine and I are going through. The welcoming them home years later. We're all one family on this earth. If we can heal from the hatred of that war and the ugliness of that war, we can come above anything, really.